welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing very very well today and if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is Natalie jade and i post videos over here three times a week well sometimes more and i also have a vlogging channel so make sure you check me out over there if you haven't done already so today's video is going to be yet another revolution xtc collection video so far we have done three of these i believe so i've done a haul and an unboxing of my first items that i got I've done a DCX Harley palette, so I did a Harley look using her palette, and then I've done the Catwoman palette. So now it's time to do the Batman collection. So I've got a few items from the collection, and I'm so, so excited to share this with you guys. So if you do want to see, do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and let's get straight on with today's video. So I'll start off by just showing you guys what I've got. So I've already done a mini haul for this because I actually bought things in two separate buys. So I bought some stuff online and I actually bought some stuff in person at the store. So the first thing that I got is this bag here. This one I'm so, so excited to share. This one wasn't even for content creator. This is just for me because I absolutely fell in love with this bag. So this is the Revolution Harley bag and it is so cute. So if you look up closely, you can see it says all sorts of things like Mad Love. It says Harley... It's just got all sorts of stuff all over this. That is Little Monster and Squad We Trust, all sorts of things. And it says Revolution in gold writing across the middle. And uh, this is a transparent bag with the writing on. It's a black, blue and pink themed. And then it's got this really pretty zip down the middle, which is rose gold. And on the little zip tag, you've got a little kind of symbol for Harley, which I think is really, really cool. So this one reset at £8, which I thought was a little bit pricey. But considering the fact that it was a collaboration, it was part of the collection, that would be why it was a little bit more expensive plus have you seen how much room you get in this so this is my normal makeup bag and i thought this was quite a large one as it was so this one's actually quite a bit bigger so this is a really really nice size one and i'm really excited to use it and the next one for us to test out is the batman one so this is what the packaging looks like it's so pretty and so so cute so it's got this kind of these little bats here made out of glitter which is really really nice the bat symbol on the front and then it also gives you a little insight as to what the colors look like so at the batman collection i bought the bat palette as you can see so the next one i've got is this batman highlight and it's very very similar packaging to the last one however it's not glittery it's kind of just like a rose gold which is really really pretty and i'm very very excited to try this one out and then the next one that I've got is the Batman Mascara and this is so cute. I actually did try this one out in the Harley video I believe and it is so good. It's a really really thick chunky mascara but I really really do rate it. So I have done most of my makeup. I'm going to go in with a highlight now. We're going to do the eye look and then we're going to do the mascara on the top. This is going to be makeup just using the Batman collection. So as I said, I already do have some bits on because I don't do like a Batman foundation or a Batman concealer. So things like that. So the bits like that I've already got on. And these all seem to be really, really tight in the packaging. I could be really struggling to get half of them out. So then this is what the packaging looks like once you've taken off the case. And again, absolutely gorgeous. And this is what the highlight looks like on the inside. A really nice mirror in there. And then this is the actual highlight, which is gorgeous. I love the little bat imprint on. And I'm just going to swatch this onto my hand and see what it's like because I just can't resist. So that is a stunning highlight. That literally just looks absolutely flawless. Like it's got such a beautiful shimmer to it. So I'm just going to go straight in with that. I'm going to try that. So I'm using this brush here. This is my setting brush. That's one of my biggest highlight hacks ever is to use the setting brush i just i don't know why i just love it so i'm just getting a nice amount on here so they actually released two different highlights one being the batman that is gorgeous so one being the batman and one being the catwoman when the initial pictures were released of what the collection might look like i wanted the catwoman one but then when you actually saw like the swatches of them i wanted the batman one and look at that that is gorgeous i'm obsessed it's got such a flawless kind of application so it's just kind of gliding on and it's blending out really really nicely so i'm such a big fan of that highlight that's so pretty i'm just gonna apply some down the center of my nose 
So that's now how it is looking like and I'm obsessed with that highlight. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely loved the Cocoa Pebbles highlight. That was a really, really pretty one that they released. That was, I think, a couple of weeks ago now and I really like that one. But this one has even taken over that. Like, this is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to go in with the palette now and I'm very, very excited to do this. I will swatch all these colours and insert the clip here for you guys. But look at how beautiful the inside of this palette is. There's some absolutely gorgeous shades in there. So I nearly didn't buy this palette because there's two different Batman palettes. There's the Forever Flawless one and then there's this one. The Forever Flawless one is absolutely gorgeous. I'll stick a picture on screen for you guys so you can actually see what I'm talking about. But the Forever Flawless one is absolutely gorgeous. However, I thought it was going to be the same colours as this palette and it really isn't it's very very similar but it's not the same so this one's more of a smoky dark warm toned palette and the other one had very very similar shades but they're a lot lighter and a lot more nude than kind of like dark and smoky so the shades are gorgeous in both palettes but this one personally was just more me and i also just want to point out the packaging that if you look you can see there's little bats all the way around the mirror and all the way around the palette which is super super cute i just kind of love the attention to detail they've had with this collection like if you look at the palette up close you can see little bat print logos imprinted onto the matte shades also there is three shimmers and six mattes in total which i don't think is a bad combination at all i think i would rather have a few more mattes to be able to play with and blend with together and then have a nice amount of shimmers to be able to kind of choose from so i think that's quite a nice little combination so i'm just going to start my eyes now and i'm going to go with my p louise base i use either shade two or shade four depending on the makeup look that i'm going for so today i'm going with the shade two this is more of a nice neutral kind of natural look for me more of a natural color for my skin tone and i'm just going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you guys can see better what's actually going on here so now i'm just going to apply a small amount of this onto the back of my hand and start working it through my brush and then start applying it to my eyes so i like to have a nice flat brush for this so i'm actually going to use this one this is one of my new brushes it's just a really pretty unicorn brush from a car boot sale there's nothing special about it it's just really pretty so i thought why not use that today so i'm just applying this all over my lid but as you can tell this brush is very cute, but it doesn't pick up the product anywhere near as well as like a Real Techniques brush. So I'm just applying this all over my lid. Just to make sure we get a nice, even coverage base. So I'm just going to now blend that out. I'm going to use this Beauty Blender. It's actually a new one. I opened a brand new bag of beauty blenders because my dog stole about three so this is now how it's looking it's got a nice even base underneath and i'm just going to go straight in with this palette and i'm going to go in with this shade here it's kind of like a really nice natural nude shade and that's just going to be kind of like a base shade for us and i'm going to use my real techniques brushes so i'm going to start for this brush here this is the 310 brush i'm taking that really light shade and i'm just really lightly blending that through my crease it's a very, very pigmented palette. I'm not gonna lie. There is a lot more that has just gone into my eye than I thought would. So I literally got the tiniest amount of product and it is really, really applied. It's just gone straight onto and blended really nicely in. So at least I know with this eye, it's very pigmented, so I know to be a little bit more careful in blending it. So that's now how it's looking and I really like these kind of like warm tones that the palette's got. I'm just going to tidy up that outer corner a little bit there and just start to blend that bit out there. Just because I didn't realise how much product and how pigmented the product really was when I first went in. I just kind of went for it. So this is now how it's looking and that's blended out a lot nicer, a lot kind of more natural. So I'm going to go in with a darker shade now and I'm going to go in with just this one at the bottom right hand corner. It's kind of like a chocolatey shade. It looks a bit lighter on camera but it's really, really pretty. I'm going to take the exact same brush as we had before and I'm just going to run that through my crease as well. But more towards the outer corner. I think this adds a bit more of like a darker, like a smokier look than an orange and a warm toned look. 
I do love my warm tones, but I don't want it to be over the top with them. So now I'm going to go in with a different brush, actually. So I'm going in with the 307 brush, which is just a little bit shorter and kind of thinner is this brush. And I'm going in with this dark one, which is a really nice warm brown there. It's kind of like the darkest brown they've got until you get to like the really smoky colours. And I'm just applying this through the crease right in the outer corner of my lid. I don't want to apply too much, so I'm just going to apply a little bit and then just start to build this up. I'd rather be able to add more colour in than need to take some off. So I'm just going to get a little bit more of that darker shade and just start to build that up even more like I was talking about and just blending a little bit more out into my outer corner. And then same on my other lid. I'm really, really loving how pigmented this palette is. I'm excited to play the glitters though. I think I might have to go with the gold. Either the gold or the rose gold. Because the rose goldy one looks like that. But then the gold looks like that. So they are both stunning. I think I'm going to go with the rose gold though. Because I'm going to have yellow on my lid anyway. So I think rose gold is probably the way I'm going to go. But we'll see how it goes. We'll just kind of play it out. Just so you kind of have more of a reference, that's those two swatched on my hand. Which is not very neat swatches because I just kind of rush them. But you get a kind of feel for them. So I'm now going to go in with the same palette, obviously. And I'm going to take the same brushes I've just taken. And I'm going to go in with the lighter shade, the one that we started with. And I'm just going to really gently buff around the edges with that. So this is now where the look is at and I love these colours. I think they are so pretty. I'm going in with my medium shadow brush which is the 308 by Real Techniques and that's what it looks like. It's a bit fluffier and a bit bigger than the last one. And I'm going to go in with that yellow shade. It's a gorgeous kind of a vibrant yellow in the very centre of the palette. And I'm just starting to apply a little bit of this around the edge of what we've already done. Just kind of like add a bit more colour and kind of brighten that up and just have kind of like a nicer transition shade between them. So I've just like to blend the yellow in and that's really brightened it up and giving it kind of like that nice yellow tone. I'm just going to add a little bit more into this eye to kind of make them a little bit more equal. But I am such a big fan of this colour so far. It's so pretty and so pigmented as well. I really, really like it. And it's blending in so well. So that is now how it is looking. And I'm going to go in with that kind of orange again. Just kind of build up the different layer of colours. So I'm going to use the smaller brush, which is the 308 one. I'm going to go in with the darker of the browns. And I'm just running that right through my crease and nowhere else. I'm not even blending out. I'm literally just running it through my crease. And then same on the other lid. Just running that straight through. So that is now what it's looking like. And I love this palette already. I'm literally so obsessed with this palette. So I'm now going to go in with a darker shade, which is a little bit more scary, <laughs> a little bit more risky. But I'm going to take the same brushes then. I'm going to go in with this really dark brown shade, which is this one up here. There's two dark shades in this palette. There's the dark brown and there's the dark black. I'm not going to risk the dark black at the moment. So I'm going to go in that dark brown. I'm literally just tapping that right in to my outer corner just to deepen this up and darken it out kind of like smoke it out a bit as well so that's what that is looking like and i'm just going to keep playing until i'm happy with the positioning of this So that is how it's looking and it's really starting to smoke it out a bit and it's kind of giving a really nice effect to the look. So I'm going to just keep blending this with a clean blending brush now just so I'm not ending up getting loads of different colours just applied on top. This is just to blend out the colours we already have. I feel like it's really starting to come together now as this look. So I'm going to go in with my cut crease and I'm going to cut crease over the top of this because I want to try these shimmers out. And I think I'm going to go in, 
I think I'm going to go in with a rose gold one. Because I kind of want a really bright one. I think I'm going to go in with a mixture of the rose gold one. And I think I'm going to try the highlight as well because the highlight was gorgeous. And I feel like it would go really nicely on my eyes. Because I want to brighten up that centre. So I'm going on with this cut crease. And I'm just doing the first kind of half of my lid. There. And then the same thing on my other side. And then just applying any excess product on there. Okay, so that is currently how it's looking like. And the look is starting to come together now. So I'm going to blend this in with this brush here. And then I'm going to blend it in fully. I'm just kind of tapping it in to make sure there's no really harsh lines. Just kind of neaten it up a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this Rose Goldie Shimmer, which is this pretty one here. I'm just going to apply some of that to my finger, and that's just a reminder of how it looks. It looks like a really pretty kind of coppery colour. I'm just applying this onto the centre of my lid. And then blending it out towards my outer corner. And that has got such a gorgeous colour to it. And I'm going to do the same thing on my other lid. And then I'm actually going to go in with that highlight and start to blend the highlight into the coppery colour. Okay, so I'm going to go with that highlight now, the bat highlight, and that's just a reminder of how gorgeous this palette is. I'm going to take a different finger, and I'm just going to tap that on there. That was definitely a good idea, it's definitely brightened it up. I'm just going to blend that into that rose goldy colour. And then I'm also using it as kind of like an inner corner shimmer because it's so gorgeous. And so bright and so kind of highly pigmented that it just work really well for an inner corner shimmer too. So I'm going to go over it with the orange, the yellow and then the brown just to kind of define those colours because I feel like a couple of those have definitely got lost and the blending in that's definitely got lost a little bit. So I'm going to go over them again. And the first brush that I'm going to use is that 310 brush that we used before. And I'm going to go in with that orangey shade. So the kind of first, oh no, it's the second shade that we used. This one down in this corner. And I'm just going to start to run that through my crease. And then I'm going to go in with that darker shade right in my outer corner. So that is now how that's looking like and it's building up it's definitely getting there i think the pigmentation is absolutely gorgeous especially in the more neutral colors they're so pretty i'm actually really really impressed by the yellow as well i thought the yellow has definitely turned out a lot more pigmented and a lot prettier than i expected it to be which i'm not gonna lie revolution always does some really nice vibrant yellows but i was still very very blown away by it So I'm now going to go in with that yellow just to brighten those edges up because I thought we've definitely lost some of the yellow tones in that. So I'm just going to brighten that up. So that is now how the look is coming along. And I think it is a really, really pretty kind of like nude natural look. And that's really what I was going for. So I'm going to go in with those shimmers again just to make sure we haven't lost them. I'm going to that pink shimmer first, which is just a gorgeous colour and it's so shimmery and so kind of pigmented. And then I'm going to go in with the kind of white. It's kind of like a platinum white from the highlight palette. It's really pretty. It doesn't actually have a shade name. They've just got the Batman and the Catwoman one. I find it quite interesting. They're only two highlights out of four, but I am blown away by this one. So I feel like the Catwoman one would be absolutely gorgeous too. So that is just that blended through. So that is now what that is looking like, which I'm completely obsessed so far. I'm now going to go under, I'm going to do the underneath of my eyes. And I'm going to go in just with one of those kind of like neutral colours. I'm going to go in with this brown one from the bottom corner there. And I'm just really lightly buffing that under. Just very, very lightly. Same thing with my other one. Just kind of add a little bit of colour underneath, but I don't want to look like I'm being punched or anything. 
So that's what it's looking like. And I'm now going to go in. I'm going to do some eyeliner because this palette has some gorgeous darker and kind of deeper colours that we can use for eyeliner. So I thought we could test them out for that. So I'm now going in and I'm doing my liner with this brush. This is the smudge liner brush from real techniques and it's a really really good and quite a precise one i'm going in with the black which is kind of scary to me i'm just tapping that in So I try like draw out the line and then try to thicken it up afterwards because I'm not the best at this. I've just been kind of like learning the last few months what I like and what I don't like. So I'm dipping into that same colour which is such a dark black like it's a really really good and really high pigmented as well which kind of scares me but it's looking okay so far I guess. It could be worse. So now I've mapped that one out and I'm just going to kind of shade it in a little bit like I did with my other one. So now those are both done. I'm actually quite happy with them for now. And I'm going to go in with the Batman Mascara because I really, really like this one. And I wanted to test it out again, especially with the other Batman products. So like I said, this is a really, really chunky mascara. So I'm just going to open it up. It does gather quite a lot of products on the end, so I just wiped that off. But it is so nice. It does curl your lashes as you go along. Like, I'll just do one cut and just show you what I mean. But it doesn't seem to clump at all. I'm just trying to use the mirror as well as be able to show you guys what's going on. But it doesn't really seem to clump. But it really adds length. It curls your lashes. It just looks gorgeous. I also saw online the other day. I think it was on Morph. But I could be wrong. But I saw online a lower lash liner mascara so it's like a mascara that is dedicated to just lower lash line which i think is really really cool i thought it was really interesting i'd not seen one like that before so i found that really really interesting i think it was like a tenner so i did not buy it but i still thought it was quite cool i wanted to mention it on here if you guys have tried it or you guys do want me to try something like that then do let me know and i'll definitely look into it a bit more morph has been having so many sales recently and it is driving me mad because i don't want to spend a load of money on the sales but then again it's things that i have genuinely wanted to buy but i can't buy because it's been so expensive and now it's like 40 percent off on top of the current sale and i'm like how can i not buy that <laughs> so i'm just using my lash separator because i feel like it always helps to kind of make my lashes look longer and just look like i've got more so this is something that I've got. It's from Real Techniques and it is so helpful. This mascara isn't too bad because it doesn't really clump much at all. So I don't really have any problems. I find it really helpful. It just feels kind of like play with it and just kind of move your lashes around to kind of where you want them to be. And just make sure they're all nice and separated. But as you can see, that's just one cut of that mascara. And that's lifted my eyes so much and kind of widened my eyes so much. It's such a gorgeous mascara. Just from one cut though anyway. Like I could do so much more with it. Um, I'm just going to finish my other eye now. I'm just going to do my lower lash line for this. So this is now how this one's looking. And I'm going to separate my lashes on this side too. So I'm just going to... So now that is the banner look and I hope you guys do like this. I am in love with this collection. The whole DC collection I'm so so in love with but especially the Batman collection. They have some absolutely gorgeous pieces. The packaging as I said before the packaging is stunning and the highlight is genuinely going to be one of my new favorite highlighters because this is absolutely stunning i didn't use that much product but it is shining and it is so pretty it's also really good as an inner corner highlight and to go on my eyes too so i'm a really big fan of this make sure you pick one of these up if you haven't already but that is it from me for today guys tomorrow i'm going to be doing the joker palette so if you want to see that make sure you subscribe down below i'm so so excited to be sharing that palette with you it's my last palette of the four to review and kind of do a look on so i'm very very excited for that one but that 
absolutely much it for me for today. So thank you so much for watching this video. I have really, really enjoyed filming this for you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. If you have, do not forget to smash that thumbs up button. Leave me a lovely little comment down below. And subscribe to my channel with that notification bell on if you want to see more videos just like this. And that's it for me for today. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.